Today, I'm going to review this Logitech mouse. Let's get into the video. This is the Logitech M510 mouse. It's not a gaming mouse, but it is meant for productivity and customization. You get seven different buttons that can be programmed in the Logitech Options Plus software, which I will show you here in a bit. The bottom is very simple, finding the power switch and the battery cover. There's also four little raised pads to help you glide across the surface smoothly as well as your optical sensor. The USB dongle can store safely away in the battery compartment. The USB dongle included is the Logitech Unifying Receiver. This allows you to connect multiple devices using this one receiver. This wireless receiver is quite compact and does not stick out very much from your USB port on your laptop, making it a very good option for portability. Okay, now let's take a look at the software. Install Logitech Options Plus. Once you have that installed, open it up. Make sure to install the Logitech Options Plus and not Logitech Options. Logitech Options is now unsupported and so you'll need to make sure to get the Plus version. This software is free, by the way. Once you open the program, you're gonna be prompted to sign in. I recommend you do this. And as you can see here, I am signed in, so we can proceed. The first menu you'll find is the setting icon in the corner. You can change your theme and several other settings. Click Add Device to set up your mouse. Choose the correct connection method for your mouse. Here, I will click Unifying Receiver. You should then turn off your mouse and turn it back on again, and it should show up here. Mine is already paired, so I'll just go ahead and go back to the main screen. Now your mouse should show up. Hovering over here shows the battery life. If you click on your mouse, you can then start editing and programming your buttons. There are three sections. Buttons, point and scroll, where you can set your scroll direction, smooth scrolling, as well as the pointer speed. The third section is your actual settings. So you can go in there, check for firmware updates, check for software updates, and set a couple different things. The button section is where all the magic happens. You can set a keybind for any button on your mouse. Select a button and a menu like this will pop up. You can then scroll and set it to however you want. You can also set a keyboard shortcut. This is especially handy if you are a content creator or a gamer. Once you find the option you want, click on it and it'll change that button to use that function. Click away to close your menu. The two options on either side of your scroll wheel are the left and right scroll wheel click. If you select the middle button, you'll see there's a section called gestures. This is a really cool feature. A gesture is when you hold down the scroll wheel and swipe up, left, right, or down. This in turn will execute a function that you have set on the gesture section. As you can see here, swiping down opens the calculator. Using the gestures does not disable the middle click. You can still single press the middle scroll wheel button and it'll still do whatever you have it set as. In the upper right hand corner, you have app specific function files. This allows you to add a specific button layout for a specific program, such as video editing, photo editing, or Google Earth. Select the program that you want to use and click Confirm. You can then set a specific button layout for that program. On the lower left corner, it'll show your battery life and connection type. I really love the software, and this is perfect for anyone who wants really comprehensive customizability of their mouse and button layouts. And that's how to use Logitech Options. The build quality on this M510 is pretty good. The one thing I do not like is this rim that goes all the way around the mouse. The material feels a little cheap and looks cheap. Overall, not bad. The two side buttons feel a little spongy or springy, but overall they do feel pretty good. I like the little spot they put in the middle for you to rest your thumb. This mouse will not slide quite as smoothly as a gaming mouse, but it does pretty good and it's not a hindrance. How much does this mouse actually cost? If you search on Amazon, this one here is the one that I have, and the one above it is slightly newer. They shortened the name to Logi and used a slightly different color scheme. At the time of recording this, the mouse was on discount for about $23. 
It's normally about $29, excluding tax. I purchased mine from Best Buy for like $25. I definitely recommend this mouse. It feels great and works just perfectly. It even included software is such an added perk that I will always own a Logitech mouse because I love being able to customize my buttons. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it was helpful to you. I'll see you guys in my next video.